We've been in this window, and in that window, we have not come back to the Lord. We've grown much farther away from God. And that's why I've always been concerned about this period, and because of another mystery we'll get to, with the timing, which actually goes, to, we're, uh, I've always been concerned about this time, because the, the, in this mystery is the timing of where we are right now. This very year was pinpointed. So, so I believe that there's the signs that the window is in danger of closing. And so that's when the shaking start resuming. So that's why we have to take this very seriously. Uh, Jonathan, there was a scripture yes. appointed to be read in the days leading up to 9-11. Yes. What was yeah. it? And there, a lot of people won't know this. Yeah, there, what was there, that there's scripture? There's a thing called the Parsha, and the Parsha is that on a Sabbath day, you know, the Jewish people open up the scrolls and they have a scripture that's appointed from, you know, ages past for that day. Well, well, just before 9-11 came, now remember, there's more Jewish people in, in around here in New York yeah. than almost any other place in America, and most places in the world. And so it's there, so they're all over New York, they're opening up the scrolls, and what's the scripture? The scripture is the scripture where God says, warns a nation that has known God, been blessed by God, and has now turned away from God. And he says, this is what's going to happen. It has a list of judgments that begin. And, and so, you know, some of them, I mean, of course it's to Israel, but God applies these things and some things are, are just that. But it says, an enemy shall come from far, far away land and shall attack you in your gate. By the way, this is the gate of America. Yeah. You know, it shall attack New you. York City New York is City the gate. Is the gate. Re- Ellis Island, yeah. I mean, this is the gate. This is the gate and that's where judgment begins. And so yeah. he says the enemy will come, he'll be brutal. He'll be, it, it talks about, it talks about in the middle of the day, there'll be a, the, it, oh, it, says, it says there'll be a, a, a rain dust upon you. Remember this place was covered with a rain of dust. Of it says you'll be groping around like a blind person. It, 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 it literally says, and, and, and I'm not saying, you know, there's different applications, but God can apply. It says that below you, the ground will be iron. Above you, the sky will be copper or bronze. Well, literally, ground zero it was made up of steel or alloy of iron. And above them, there was this cloud that was made up of copper. You know, and, so literally, and then it, it, says, it says that, you know, it says this. It says that the enemy will come, like, sign of judgment in the Bible, like an eagle coming upon the land. You know, an eagle come, when, when judgment came to ancient Israel, he, he uses the eagle as the image, eagle. Well, it says in that scripture, an eagle shall come, he'll come like, and the, the Hebrew says, which means a swooping eagle. He'll come down to every plane. The 9-11, they came from the sky like eagles. They came swooping down, and the, the, the plane that began it all, on the back of that plane was an image, and the image was of an eagle swooping down the same scripture that was appointed for that day. And what the scripture is revealing is that's the beginning, America. That's the beginning of God's warning, but it's not the end. You know, talking about that parallel between ancient Israel and America, I, I think of uh, the ninth of Av, that, that symbolic yeah. date, obviously, in the Jewish calendar. Yes. The temple was destroyed. The first temple was destroyed. Yes. And the second, by the Babylonians, the second temple by the Romans. Same day. On the same day. Same day. And so that, that's What right. are the that, odds? That's right. And, that, and, and, and listen, and the Romans are not saying, hey, I'm going to fulfill prophecy. You know, the Romans right. just, and the terrorists are not saying, we're going to fulfill Isaiah 9, 10, and we're going to have all these things happen. Or that it's even on the same day. You know, so, so that same thing of judgment, that's right, Eric, is happening with, happened with America. It's on the same day, 9-11. Unbelievable. Hey, before we move on, uh, a lot of people ask, how does he come up with this? Where does Jonathan get these revelations? It's just amazing because you are unlocking mysteries and secrets that no one knows about. I I guarantee most people watching, and we have a very educated uh, audience, most people, I know I didn't, did not know the Pentagon was, was founded on September 11th, that New York City was discovered, the island of Manhattan on September 11th, what are the odds? Uh, Tell us about your process here in researching. I know you can't reveal too much, but in researching and uncovering this incredible information. Well, well, this all, Eric, this all began here. It began in New York in the southern, we're in the southern end. I was standing at ground zero. I saw a tree and something said, something said, you have to seek this out. There's a mystery here. I'm going to show you. And so it did. And that became the first puzzle piece of the next puzzle. So it just started coming. And then when I needed the next, and every book, most of the books have come like that. Um, and, And when I like okay okay here's the next one here's the next one. okay lord we, we, and 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 then and then when i need like the next key someone will say something like the word will come or someone will say something or i'm typing on my computer um, and and something comes up that i wasn't looking for and it's the next thing so the, i could not i could not reproduce it or the somewhere often uh, like same with the paradigm same with this this something I'm, I'm on my bed and something comes in my head and says look this 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 i said well that can't is, is that true and i get up my wife is still sleeping i get up go in the other room i go on my computer and i say i look at the web and i said my 
God, that's true. You know, um, so the Lord, I could not reproduce it. It's just God. It's just God. I yeah. could not reproduce it. It's I mean, of course, I'll research once I get it, but I could not reproduce it. Yeah, it's the Spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a wonderful thing to see. And thank yeah. God that we have these revelations, Jonathan, now for these times we're living in. There's a famous version of Scripture called yes. the One Year Bible. Yes. Uh, a lot of people probably have the One Year Bible. Uh, what happens when yeah. you open it up to yeah. what we've been yeah. calling yes, the, the Harbinger, Harbinger verse, Isaiah 9 10. Yeah. Yeah, Harbinger, yeah, for those who don't know, the One Year Bible has a, has a verse for every day of the year, you yes. know, or has a portion of Scripture. So if you, so if you open up you go to the harbinger, Isaiah 9, 10, which is talking about the, the judgment strike, enemy attack on the land, beginning of judgment for a nation. That verse, the bricks have fallen. Open it up, look on the top of the page, and it will have a date. The date is September 11th. So the one-year Bible <laughs> literally joined together. Now, now listen, keep this in mind. So that means on the day of 9-11, all over America, believers were opening up their Bible before it happened and reading about the, uh, how to do with the strike on the land, about the sycamore tree falling before it happened. And in fact, the one year Bible came out in the 1980s. So it was there for over 15 years, Eric, that every year on 9-11 across America, across the land, they're opening up the Bible on 9-11 to read about the, the strike and the beginning of judgment appointed on 9-11. And for that to happen, I mean, for that to happen, you know, this, this is another amazing thing. For that to happen, you had to have Genesis was January 1st, you know, and then at the end you have the, the Old Testament, you have Malachi. So what it means, if you just take the Bible's algorithm, it's going to pinpoint that 9-11 for the day of attack. And it, with, with, I mean, who could put that together? But I'll, I'll, I'll throw you one more about, and this is part of the unreve unrevealed, but it's about now. But um, the, the one more about that is that, not only that, not only were they doing that, but around this city, before the attack came, you know, there was a sound that was all over, that was the sound from the Bible, we talked about it in another program, of alarm. The, the watchman, alarm. watchman sounds it, and what does it mean? When you hear that watchman sounding in the city, it means a, an attack, an enemy is coming, attacking the city. So all over New York City, the ancient alarm of the Bible was being sounded long before the Pentagon knew, the, the intelligence agency, all over it, why? There's a particular uh, portion of the Hebrew year where in the morning, uh, the Jewish people are commanded to, or told to sound the shofar, and, and there's only a few days when they do that and also pronounce uh, words of judgment at the same time. So it's happening, one of those days was 9-11. So on 9-11, they're doing it, and the thing is, Eric, it had, it's a certain time when you had to do it. It's, af it's, it's linked to dawn and sunrise. So listen, dawn and sunrise began around, say, 6.30 here in New York. So 9-11 so starts beginning. The terrorists are heading to the airport. But where does the, sunri where does the sunrise begin? Where does the dawn begin? It begins in Maine. That's where the first terrorists began. As the sun was right. hitting and the shofar starts sounding, they're crossing into the security, heading to the gate of the airport. Then the sunrise moves to Boston. And so then the, ter then the, the shofar starts sounding the alarm in Boston. The terrorists go to Boston. Then the sunrise moves to New York City. So the, the, the trumpets are sounding in New York City and the terrorists go there. And then it moves to Washington, D.C. and the trumpets start sounding there. And the thing is they go from, from, from 6.30 and then they go for about four hours. So it ends about 10. 30 a.m. Well, 9-11, the last event was the, the North Tower came crashing down. Um, it crashed down just about 10:29, and then the trumpets stopped sounding. Wow. And the word and the warning for now is when you, the trumpets were there, but nobody was listening. And God is sounding the trumpet. I believe even the Harbinger 2 is a trumpet, is a trumpet. That's what I believe I'm, I'm to do it for. I'm sounding the trumpet. Uh, but we haven't heeded it, but the trumpets are sounding and we have to take heed. Some people at home might say, well, that, that's pretty interesting, but why does it matter to me? What does the ancient mystery reveal? What would happen to America next? Why should everyone at home care about yeah. these incredible facts? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's affecting everybody. It's affecting your life right now. Yes. It's affecting, affecting us. You know. Yeah, the thing is that, well, one thing is that, if you remember in the Harbinger, one of the things that happened is the, on the day after 9-11, the, the leader of the Senate, Tom Daschle, actually mm -hmm. proclaims the verse of judgment of nine, Isaiah 9-10. has no idea what it means. Right. He says, this is the verse. You know, the bricks have fallen, and he has no idea. It's talking about the first sign of judgment online. And then, but then at the very last words of his speech, he says, this is what we will do. He says, we're going to do Isaiah 9-10. It was prophetic. It was prophetic. So, so we have done it. We have what's happened. What the, what the template is: the nation is given a space of time. It's given a window of time to come back to the Lord, and and either come back to the Lord, revival, or or go go away from the Lord, and you head to destruction. You head to calamity. You head to shakings and destruction. Those are the, the window. And so that we've been in this window now. 
And in that window, we have not come back to the Lord. We've no. grown much farther away from God. And that's why I've always been concerned about this period and because of another mystery we'll get to with the timing, which actually goes, to, we're, uh, I've always been concerned about this time because the, the, in this mystery is the timing of where we are right now. This very year was pinpointed. So, so I believe that there's the signs that the window is in danger of closing. And so that's when the shaking start resuming. So that's why we have to take this very seriously. Yeah, tell us about the ninth of Tammuz. Yes. What is that about? That's that's one of the chapters yes. in the Harbinger yeah. too. Yeah, this is, now this is in the realm, another realm of the book is what's happened since the Harbinger that's still coming. Yeah. True. Well, you know, there's a, a, a day in the Bible that's a day of judgment. It's called the ninth of Tammuz. And, and that is on the ninth of Tammuz, the month of Tammuz, uh, the walls of Jerusalem were breached by the Babylonians. So once that happened, the Bible records it. Once it happened, that's it. I mean, once they, it was the defensive protective walls are breached, it's over. It, the, the judgment didn't happen then, but it was the beginning. So, so they breached it. Okay. So it became a day of mourning and weeping, you know, for years. And it's still today a day of tragedy. Well, you know, a while, what happened in between the time of the warning and where we are now, you know, since I wrote The Harbinger? Well, we did a, we crossed a major, a major a crossing point, and that is that the Supreme Court uh, uh, struck down uh, marriage as we know it. It struck down the biblical definition of marriage. Uh, big, very big. Well, it was striking down a, a hedge. The day, it was June 26, 2015, but on the biblical calendar, it was the 9th of Tammuz. It was the day that the wall is removed, that the protective wall, the wall, the hedge that is protecting the civilization is removed. And that's what happened. From whom much is given, much is required. Yes. And America, America. has been blessed more than yes. any nation in the history of the world. That's Not right. an official covenant nation like Israel, but this was a nation right. founded on godly That's principles. Right. It was founded after the pattern of Israel by yes. the Puritans. And, and you know, one of the things that the people don't always realize is that John Winthrop, who, who spoke about the city on the hill, we shall be a city on the hill. And you talk about that in the book. Yeah, he said, we will be blessed more than any, and we are, we have been. But yes. they forget that he warned, forget he says, but if you turn away, the judgments that came on Israel are gonna come upon you. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. And that's what the that's exactly what this is. All the, the judgments and the patterns of Israel are coming upon us. And Moses warned the people of Israel, and basically his last talk or his last speech yes. uh, to the Jewish people, he gave that same warning about what would happen to Israel that's right. if they turned away from the God of Israel. And Winthrop quoted, basically quoted from Moses' speech to warn America, and that was the appointed word that that was leading the leading the days up to 9-11 was Moses' warning. Yeah. Hey, we're unlocking these ancient mysteries and bringing them alive now for such a time as this in these prophetic times in which we're living. One of them is the 19 year mystery. Okay, let me, let me, be, let, uh, let me do one thing before that. Okay, yeah, okay. To, just to give an idea also. Sure, uh, sure. Two things that happen up to, that'll lead up to that, lead up okay. to where we are. Um, one is, one is, remember the Harbingers, Eric, remember the tree. The they, judgment tree. Yes, the judgment yes. tree. Yes, I never forget. Really remember that. Well, well what happened is, is the, it says the sycamore has been struck down. We will plant, we will plant the cedar or the Erez tree in there. Well, on yes. 9-11, a sycamore tree was struck down at 9-11 around here. And the people of New York do the exact thing that Isaiah said. They plant another tree in its place, have a ceremony, and it's, it's defiance, and they plant the same tree that the Hebrew denotes, which is the Erez tree. They plant it in its place, so they have no idea. It's a sign of judgment. And they say, hey, this, and this is a sign. We're coming back strong. This, this was they called the tree of hope. It's like a symbol of America. Well, what happened to it? What happened to it? Uh, a biblical sign of judgment in the Bible is that, is that God says, I will cause the tree to wither. Well, the tree of hope at ground zero, that harbinger has been has been withering and withering away, and a sign of a nation that is right with, now. That tree well, is well, withering I'm, away. I'm going to go farther. Not than, far from where I'm, we're sitting I'm right now. I'm going to go farther than way. that. It's been withering away, and it's a sign of a nation that has been that has been, is withering inside. It's been withering, you know, spiritually, America. Um, and then it says, "I will cut off its branches." Well, you know what? Obama, the president, came down to ground zero, and he read a scripture on the anniversary, but he changed the word. And I'm not saying he knew what he was doing, but he changed the word. It says, "God will break the bow. He'll break the weapons and bring peace." He'll break the bow an hour. He'll break the bow. Obama changed it to he will break the bow. And the White House, when they put it in writing, they changed the scripture about breaking of the bow is a sign of judgment on the land, is a sign of national judgment. You break, the, I will break the branch, I will break the bow. The bow will come. Well, across the street, he's saying this is that tree, and they start breaking off the boughs of that tree. And then the final sign is the fall of the Eris tree, because, you know, that is when it talks about the fall of the cedar, the great, that's talking about a big judgment coming. Fall of the sycamore, that's one. Fall of the cedar, that's strong. Well, yeah. well what happened is the, the Eris tree at ground zero fell and was destroyed. And it was destroyed on a Hebrew holy day. It was destroyed on Passover. 
And on that night that it was destroyed, the moon turned blood red. All these signs of the Bible, and it was a sign of, of a nation that will fall. And if the sycamore was 9-11, the fall of the heiress tree is speaking there's going to be something greater that is yet coming. And I'll, I'll just throw in one more, and then we'll get to right where Please we are. Do. Um, and that is that in the last days of Israel, and there's so much, we're just touching on it, you know, but the, the last days of Israel, uh, Ezekiel was taken into the temple and he says, look, I saw the image. I saw, it, was a, it was a false god. It was an idol. I saw the image and God said, okay, now judgment's coming. One of the signs is that images of gods appear in the land and then, there, you know, that's a sign of yeah. judgment. Well, America will never admit it follows other gods, but it does, you know, and you know, it's, we won't call them that. But could that, could a sign of a god appear? Well, in this city, where we are right now, in this city, the image appears, an image of a false god. It's so, it's had to be the biggest uh, false god in the world. It's, the head was three, over 300 feet high. And where was it? They projected it, on, I'm looking at a, a, a version, they projected it onto the Empire State Building, symbol of America. The God was the God Kali, the God of darkness. So here they're using light to project to, for the God of darkness. This is woe to those who, a nation that sets light for darkness. Now, who did this and why did they it's do all it? Because most people watching probably have no idea that no, this happened. No, and you can, go, you can go on the line and you can see it. Yeah, no, it's all crazy. The, people don't know why they're doing it. They did it for some reason, it had to do with a, a statement about endangered animals. For some reason. I, it's so, all, they put an image of a pagan deity. Yeah, yes, yes. And so, and she's there. The tongue is sticking out, dripping with blood. The, and, and, and on that day, Eric, it was a Saturday night. Saturday, they, it was a day they opened up the scrolls. It was a Sabbath. They opened up the scrolls. What was the wow. appointed word? The appointed word for the day that America put up the image was, do not make an image of a God or judgment will come. And so all over New York City is this God looming. And, and it's the God of death and destruction over New York City. The gate has been breached. The towers have been knocked down. This is biblical, All not just the this. twin towers All on 9-11, but as, as you show in the Harbinger too, Jonathan, this happened in ancient Israel as well. It's replaying. It's uncanny. It's replaying. So it is literally replaying it's, now. It's replaying and it takes us to where, this goes right to where we are now. And, and the thing is that when I look back, Eric, we, I alluded to it at the beginning, but I read, and anybody can do it, I read the, the chapter of things to come, and I'm not saying I know, I'm just following what, you know, yeah. and it says, it speaks about, okay, the pattern is that if the nation doesn't turn back with the first shaking, that greater shakings will come upon it. And, and you can actually read ancient, old commentaries on Isaiah 9, 10, and you're gonna see it, it's, it's like America. Greater shakings will come, and I looked at it, it says, how will they come? I said, well, it can take the form of, uh, of the division of the nation. America is divided. We as see that, that now as a, across every across level. The level. Yeah. yeah. Uh, disorder, the di order breaks out. We're seeing that now. Uh, the breakdown of infrastructure, we're seeing it all over. The natural calamity, man-made calamity, it goes through this whole thing. And, and, and the thing is, so it's- Pandemics. It's a, pa well, that's gonna be another, there's a whole yeah, chapter- Yeah, we will, we will whole talk chapter about called that, yes, the plague. Is. Yeah, um, and, so, and so all that's there. And the thing is that, but it's not only that, in that chapter, when I talk about like the next shaking coming, I, I use the word crown. Uh, the word crown is the word corona. Corona wow. is crown, you know, and so here you have this happen, and then, but even the timing, because the question is asked in the original Harbinger, it's it's revealed in the Harbinger too, but it, it says how long is it between that first shaking and then when the, the bigger shaking start coming on land or the destruction, you know, and it says well, it's, it gives the dates of the Southern Kingdom, and the Southern Kingdom is 605 Nebuchadnezzar shakes, it, yes, first invasion. Then when is it destroyed? 586. Comes back. You put it, you, yeah, you put it together and you have 19 years, a 19 year span. 9-11 happened on 2001. What is the 19th year? 2020 is the 19th year, the year of shaking. 19 year, it's the 19th year. It's the exact pattern, the year of shaking. So the shakings come on. And not only that, not only, and that's why Eric, I, I, and I, for years I'm looking and say, Lord, and not that, he, I'm not gonna put God in a box. He can do whatever he, he wants, but are you gonna, is this gonna follow this pattern? Is 2020 gonna be the year? And it was, it is, it's not finished. But not only that, but Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, he prophesied about what was gonna, the judgment was gonna happen on the 19th year, which it came. And he prophesied one of those judgments was gonna be a disease, plague and pestilence will come upon the land in the 19th year. It's eerie, I'm not saying they did it, but these things just come together. What is, what is the name of this disease? Corona 19, COVID-19. It even has the, num years, even has the yes. number of judgment and the time span. Wow. 
And there's a whole mystery to this play. You know, when I first wrote The Harbinger originally, I wrote it totally non-fiction, all that, and then the Lord said, rewrite the whole thing. He said, because the yeah. Lord spoke in parables to get more, so you can reach more people, be easier to read, easier thing. So I put a story, of a man called the prophet, yeah. a man called Noriel, um, and he's revealing it to him. Well, they come back now. <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's, the prophet returns to Noriel. You know, that's why it's called The Harbinger 2, sometimes the return, which can mean a million things, including the return. This so the character, re the prophet, returns. Yes, he book. returns, and, and Noriel, so that He's taking him to all these places, and and by and, and by the way, while but but everything that's revealed is real. So so what? But you have a story on top. So while I'm writing this, uh, listen, I, I I'm writing it in January. I start writing January, yeah. and then all these things start coming on America, coming on America, coming on America. But I knew as a Lord, Lord, was this third? So this is the reason I had this unction. You have to write it. You have to write it because there are things in there that have to be that we have to know, and you know, in this, and God's people have to be. They can't be unaware. We got to sound the trumpet, and we have to. So I had, and then everything started coming, in, which is affecting the book too. Yes. Like, oh Lord! Wow. So you have to update the book, change some things, add it, some it, things because more was coming. I mean, the plague yeah, was coming, yeah. even though it was there. So, so it's it's just mind-boggling. But listen, God is a God of compassion. There is so much. That what this is telling you, you know, sometimes people, when, I, when the harbinger came out, some people are really scared. Yeah, but listen, don't be scared. The point is, I mean, be scared if you're not in God's will. But then yeah. getting God's will. If you're not in God's will, be scared. Getting God's will, then don't be scared. But the point is, the the, the safest place you can be is to be in the will of God. Yeah. You know, you know, we say, you know, I want, how, do I, how do I be safe? Well, from the word safety in Hebrew is the word Yeshua. And Yeshua is Jesus. The safest place is to be in Him. If you're in Him, you don't have to fear, but just be in Him. In fact, this is a call to be in, in, in Him as never before. This is the time for which we were born. Yes. We were born for biblical times. These are now biblical times, everybody. These are even leading to the end times, you know. These are, yes. but they could lead to revival. This could be our greatest moment. You know, the apostles, they had a tough time too. The prophets had a tough time, but they were, they, they were light, so be a light. This will be your greatest moment.